modifying NURBS objects, the create points rollout, the curve point tool. So the curve point tool is used to put a dependent sub object that lies on the NURBS curve. So let's go up and create a NURBS curve and I'm going to go with a point curve. And in the point curve I'm going to just pick and pick, 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 and pick. And I'll right click to finish the curve. So now I have my NURBS curve. Now I'm going to select this item. Oops, all right. I'm I'm going to select this item. And now I'm going to go up to modify my command panel. Then I'm going to pick on my NURBS curve. And in the NURBS curve I'm going to pick right on the NURBS curve itself. I come down here and I have a create points roll out down into dependent points dependent points I want to use a curve point so when I pick on curve point it'll get a little uh, funny marker on my cursor I'm gonna come along and when I touch the, the curve it turns blue and I get this box that shows up I want to position the box where I want to place a curve point so I'm going to place it right here and I pick. Now I get a green asterisk that's placed there and now I'm going to scroll down in my rollouts and when I come down here my curve point rollout will show up. The U position is the position on the point on the curve. So where is it on the, in relation on the curve? By default on the curve is selected so the position is right on the curve here. I could change it to offset as we just saw before in earlier videos. Offset I could position this as a dependent offset and place it somewhere off the curve. I could place it as a normal a certain distance from my normal. Remember a normal is the perpendicular direction from the point outwards. So perpendicular from where the point is outwards and I can set a distance on that particular vector. My tangent, my tangent is that it touches at a curve at one and only one point and I could set my U uh, distance to be a certain direction down that tangent in this spinner. Down here in the bottom here we have the trimming area. The trimming area is used to trim the, uh, the curve. So if I check this trim curve on, it trims off part of the curve and keeps the other half. And it cuts it or trims it at that particular point. If it's the wrong way, I can flip the curve. And it flips it the other way around. So um, I can flip the curve or I can trim the curve if needed. Um, by using those two check boxes in my curve point rollout. So we have just created a curve point, which is a dependent sub object that lies on a NURBS curve.